before I talk about Bessie, I want to give a quick recap of the election results from Saturday night and from the primary election four weeks ago as well. Had another great election night on Saturday throughout the primary and general elections. We endorsed 110 candidates for statewide office, Bessie, the House, and the Senate. After the general election on Saturday, a total of 96 candidates that we endorsed were victorious this cycle, just 14 of the candidates that we endorsed lost. To give you an idea of the resources we put in this campaign effort, the Victory Fund spent more than $1.4 million to help different candidates. They sent out more than 1.6 million pieces of mail, made more than 2.5 million phone calls to help get voters to the polls in support of our candidates. On top of that, my campaign invested about $420,000 in Bessie and legislative campaigns this election cycle as well. I want to turn my attention to the Bessie races. From the very beginning, all along, we have said that the Bessie elections were our number one priority, our number one priority, well, I should say, getting reelected was our number one priority, but after we got reelected, in addition to our reelection, our number one priority in this election cycle were the Bessie races. The reason these were so important was, we've said that K-12 education will be our top priority going into the first year of this next uh, term, and the reason that's so important, when you think about the great progress we've made these last four years, on economic development, the fact that our economy has outperformed the national and southern economies consistently for four years, we want to continue that progress. We want to continue to create jobs, continue to create opportunities for our people to pursue their dreams. We know that improving education for our children is absolutely critical to our ability to continue to outperform the national and southern economies. It's absolutely critical, by the way, to improving our quality of life across a wide array of indicators, whether it's health care, whether it's crime, all those other things that we measure, it is so important that we continue to improve education for our children. You know, I told Chaz that I was going to steal this line from him. He said something pretty, uh, pretty profound on election night, on Saturday night. He said this, and I want to repeat this. I think this absolutely summarizes this election extremely well. This election was really between two groups, two types uh, of philosophies. On the other side, you had people that thought that we just need more money and more time to fix our schools. And the reality is they're absolutely wrong. The candidates that won on Saturday night, candidates that won in the primary election, insti instead understood that we've got to make changes now, that we owe every child in Louisiana the chance to get a great education. They understand that our children only grow up once. And the reality is we don't have time for incremental progress. We can't continue to simply to throw more money, more good money after bad at failing programs. Instead, we've got to change the, change the way that we educate our children. We've got to continue to make sure that we're moving very quickly to provide a great education to every child in Louisiana. That is why we focused on the Bessie races, because this board is so critical in shaping the future of our state. Through our work in the different Bessie races, we made six endorsements. We won five of those six elections where we made endorsements. Chaz obviously had a great win on Saturday night in his runoff election. I'm excited he'll be returning to Bessie. In the primaries, uh, we endorsed Jim, and he also won re-election. I also want to congratulate our three newest Bessie board members. We've got Holly, who won in the primary as well. I'm sorry, our four uh, newest Bessie members. Holly, who won uh, as well, and Jay, uh, who both won in the primaries, both of them beating incumbents. And then Carolyn and Kara, who won uh, on Saturday night with Chaz as well. With those four new members of Bessie, one of the things I want to note is that the three incumbent Bessie members who the most consistently opposed our efforts to reform, who most consistently stood for the status quo, they lost their elections. And I think that's extremely important. I think that's in, in noteworthy that the three members that most consistently opposed reform and defended the status quo were not reelected to Bessie. What you saw on election night was a great victory across geographic lines, across political and partisan lines, and across racial lines where voters across the state said that they are ready for bold reforms to improve schools in Louisiana. Certainly we've made great progress not only the last four years, but in previous years we've got a great accountability system, and you see the retention and graduation rates certainly improving. We're moving in the right direction, but we've got to move much, much more quickly. I think what you saw on Saturday night were, was the voters saying that they agree now is the time for bold reform. By electing a team of reformers, the people of Louisiana have sent a clear message they're fed up with the status quo and failing schools, and they want to see change. The bottom line is we can't keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. The new Bessie members understand that we can't continue to waste the billions of education dollars we invest every year on failed programs of the past that continue to give us poor outcomes. We have to invest in programs that get results. That means building on our reform efforts, including school choice, 
value-added assessments, letter grades, and dropout prevention. We've laid a strong foundation of reform, but there's a lot more work to do. We must give more choices to parents of kids trapped in failing schools. We must reward good teachers and support poor uh, performing teachers who want to improve. We've got to hold our schools accountable for failing to educate our children to even basic grade level standards. We can't just sit back and watch another generation of our children drift through our school systems and leave them unprepared for their future. Saturday's results are a signal to parents and educators that help is on the way. Over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to be visiting schools across the state, meeting with parents, BESI members, legislators, educators, and policy leaders to see how we can incorporate their ideas in our reform plans that will give children in Louisiana the high quality education they deserve. I'll say just a, a couple things before I ask our, our Bessie members to speak. The first is that I want to send a loud and strong message to parents, to their children, and, and to the, the good teachers working in classrooms all over this state that help is on the way. These elections send a strong message that help is on the way. Good teachers and teachers that want to improve will only find support and opportunities in these reforms. And I also want to say, secondly, that my wife and I are a product of Louisiana's public schools. You can get a great education in Louisiana, but the sad truth is that too many of our children don't have that same chance we did to get a great education. And this is so important for the future of our state. I say this to you not only as governor, but also as the father of three young children. As we continue to move Louisiana from the bad list to the top of the good list, there's nothing more important than we can do than to invest in and improve through educational reforms, improve the education that we offer and provide to our children and our students across this great state. Now that we've got a team in place, it's time to get to work. The elections are done. We look forward to working with anybody and everybody that's interested in reform, moving our schools forward. We've got a lot of work to do. This is going to be our top priority. And I look forward to working with not only these members of Bessie, but others across the state to move our state forward and to improve our schools. I'm going to ask Holly, I'm not going to introduce each of the Bessie uh, board members up here one at a time and ask them to come up and, and speak to them. Ask, uh, just go from my right to left, ask Holly to come up and speak, and then Jim and, and then Chaz, and after they're done speaking, we'll certainly be happy to take questions. But again, to these new uh, and returning members of Bessie, congratulations on a great victory. But Saturday night wasn't just a victory for them, wasn't just a victory for the administration, wasn't just a victory for reform efforts. Saturday night was truly a victory for the students of Louisiana. And let's always remember that education reform, it's not about the adults, it's about our children, it's about the students. Here's Holly. My career started 10 years ago in a classroom in East Baton Rouge Parish, and I can tell you that I am very excited today as a Bessie member, but as a mother and as an educator, that education is gonna be the top priority in Louisiana. Our students deserve so much more than we've been giving them for the last few decades, and I'm very excited to be part of that process. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying I was very happy to see the results from Saturday night, particularly in the two districts that are very heavily Democrat um, districts, because it shows that these reforms do cross party lines. Um, the focusing on the children instead of focusing on the adults is, is something that everybody, Republicans and Democrats, I think, agree, as shown on Saturday night, agree is the most important thing that we should be doing. We've done that a lot in the past four years. We've gotten a lot of reforms put in place, and I'm excited about the prospects for the next four years, and I think if we do keep the children first in mind and ask how do these reforms affect the children, instead of how do they affect the adults, I think that we are going to do the right thing every time. Thank you. Uh, I too would like to echo what Jim said. It was, a, it was a great night, and what the governor said, and Holly for that matter, it, it was a great night for the kids of our state. Uh, there's no indicator with a stronger correlation between quality of life than the education someone receives. That more than any other factor in someone's lives determines the quality of the rest of their life. We have over 600,000 kids in this state in K-12 public education. 235,000 of them are below grade level. Now, I ran again for Bessie because this governor told me he was committed to turning education around in this state. And here's what we're going to do the next four years. Louisiana's going to become a better place for all kids of all colors wealthy, poor, and in between, this state is going to improve. I want to thank every Bessie member 
the newly elected ones and those that ran that won again, their commitment to our state. And the commitment to our kids will make a difference. We're going to live in a better place. Louisiana is going to be a better place for all of the kids of this state over the next four years. And all those people that want to be part of the solution are going to enjoy the next four years. The good teachers, the good administrators, those that are willing to change, those who are willing to take on the reforms and embrace them. This is going to be a better state. I want to thank the governor for his commitment to our state. I want to thank the governor for his commitment to our kids. I would not have run again if it were not for this governor and his commitment to make this state a better place to live. I want to thank you personally, Governor, and I appreciate, you, appreciate everyone being here.